This week's topic is Australian money. This is a one cent coin. We don't use these in Australia anymore. This is a two cent coin. Again, we don't use these in Australia anymore. This is a five cent coin. It's the smallest form of currency in Australia. This is a 10 cent coin. I'm sure you've seen one of these before. And here we have a 20 cent coin. And this is a 50 cent coin. And finally, we have a one dollar coin. One dollar is made up of 100 cents. The word cent comes from the Latin word centum, which means 100. Because of this, there are 100 cents in a dollar, 100 years in a century, and a centenary is the celebration of 100 years. One cent is one one hundredth of one dollar, because a dollar is made up of 100 cents. Two cents are two one hundredths. Five cents are five one hundredths. We are still looking at one part of a dollar. Ten cents are ten one hundredths of one dollar. Twenty cents are twenty one hundredths of one dollar. Fifty cents are fifty one hundredths of one dollar. One hundred one cent coins would be worth one dollar because one hundred times one equals one hundred. Fifty two cent coins would be one dollar because fifty times two equals one hundred. Twenty five cent coins would make a dollar because 20 times 5 is 100. 10 times 10 is 100, so 10 10 cent coins would make $1. 5 times 20 cents equals 100 cents. 2 50 cent coins is $1. And finally, you know 1 plus 1 equals 2? Here are all our Australian notes. $5, $10, 20 50 and 100 How many cents do you think there are in $5? Right, here we've got one dollar and ten cents. One point ten. You can see the decimal point we learnt about before. This is one dollar and sixty cents, because fifty plus ten equals sixty. One dollar and thirty-five cents. Notice how the one dollar hasn't changed? The whole number is on the left-hand side of the decimal point. Here we have two whole dollars and thirty-five cents. Two dollars and fifty cents looks like this. You'll notice the 5 comes before the 0, but when we have $2.05, we put the 0 before the 5. Let's add some dollars using decimal points now. $1 plus $1. First, we add up the side column. It's 0. Another 0. Then we put the, de the decimal point below the other decimal points. And finally, 1 plus 1 equals 2. $1 plus $1 is $2. This is a bit harder. $2.10 plus $1.50. Again, we start off what? with adding the side column, which is 0. The next column, 1 plus 5, adds to 6. So, so far we have 60 cents. We put the decimal place in the same place. And 2 plus 1 equals 3. $3.60. 5 plus 0, what do you think the answer would be? Pretty easy, 5. 2 plus 6, 8. Where do we put the decimal? Right there. And 4 plus 2 equals 6. $6.85. Finally, have a think about this. If there are 100 cents in $1, how many cents are in $5? and 35 cents.